friends. It is day 93. I've been absent for two days because um, I had a house guest. A friend of mine from back home on the East Coast uh, came to visit and, uh, and I felt like it might be rude to <laughs> um, abandon her sort of for a couple of hours a day while I make screechy noises uh, just you know a few feet away from her because my bedroom door has um, two different things hanging off of it it's got uh, it's got a, a rack for jackets on one side and then a rack for shoes on the other side uh, so the the door doesn't actually shut um, not that I could totally shut it because Baron would force his way in there anyway. Um, and she played French horn, uh, in school, but like wasn't a music major. Uh, it also has, um, has a condition called Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and POTS and all sorts of other, um, other chronic illnesses. And so I, I didn't want to stress her out or like overtax her especially if she wanted to like rest or something um she just needed to some time to chill i didn't want to be making screechy noises over there um i wanted to, to make it comfortable for her so she left this morning she flew back home um and then uh we we took a picture together at like 7 a.m. She she visited all sorts of people in Southern California, um, and we woke up. We took a picture with her and Baron, um, so she could add me to her uh, her album of people that she spent time with uh, over the past week and a half, two weeks, however long she's been here. Um, so, oopsies, that wasn't in there quite properly. Um, sorry, I've never really talked and changed strings at the same time. It's a little tricky. Um, so, anyway, um, yeah, she left. I saw her off. Um... Stayed up for a little bit, but then realized that my brain just wasn't going to function unless I took a nap. So I took a nap, woke up, ate, and then went to work because um, the shop is, uh, we got a new space in the same building and we're moving all of our stuff in there and trying to get it reorganized in a better fashion. Um, so instead of having three units in the building we might actually uh let go of our upstairs office space bow rehairs and all that um and and just have the two downstairs suites so we're trying to optimize organization as much as possible and that's basically my job is to plan the organization of the inventory of the walls, um, of the shelving units, of cabinets, basically it's it's kind of my job to figure out how we are going to Tetris everything into that space downstairs. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Anyway, I spent seven or eight hours there today. I meant to come back home earlier and make an actual playing video because I've been not, I, I've been MIA for the past two days, but things happened. Um, my boss was, uh, was going to, um, be the only one there and she, she was trying to, we're, we were talking about what we could mount on the walls right now. And most of those things were a two-person job, so I didn't want to leave her when everybody else uh, scattered at various points this uh, early evening. And then it was just me and her. I was thinking, well, I'll go home around six or seven 
and um, and then those times <laughs> floated right on by and I still wasn't home yet but when um, when our bow tech came because this is kind of his evening job he's got other stuff that he does during the day he's got other jobs um, when he came with dinner for the two of them that's when I decided to head out because I haven't eaten yet um, I was getting really hungry and really tired. So now I'm home and I relaxed for a little bit, but it's just too late to play. My body is too exhausted and like upset to play. There was lots of bending and stretching and sitting in incorrect positions. And so my back, it kind of hurts. Um, but I got new strings through the shop um, I had her order me a set of violin strings and a set of viola strings. I have had um, pies, Peter Enfeld pie, on my viola, it's basically since I bought her, kind of. I changed them pretty soon after getting her because I had them on my violin and I liked them there. Uh, but I was a little concerned about the tension of the strings because those platinum strings are kind of well, pretty high tension. So um, I know Ava's are kind of also historically high tension, but I have never tried Ava Gold's on either instrument. Uh, so that's what I am putting on Annabelle right now um, is a full set of Ava Gold's. I've been looking around in all the ensembles that I play in and scoping out what the violists are using and most people seem to be using traditional avas um, uh, they'll either use a full set of traditional avas or ava traditional on the bottom three and an ava gold a so i think at least this ava gold a is going to sound pretty sweet um, pretty mellow compared to the platinum A string that I've had on here. Um, and my violin strings went to my employer's house. Um, goodness gracious, what? Um, what the what? Okay, she told me they didn't make loop and A strings. Oh no, I'm gonna have to try to fidget the ball out of this. Um, I know I've seen it done where people widen the fine tuner and like hook the whole of the ball into the fine tuner that's actually meant for a loop end, and that really scares me. And I also don't want to be without a fine tuner on my A string. Uh, so I'm just going to have to fidget this out of here um, off camera. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's an update video over the past two days. Sorry I didn't get home in time to, um, to make a proper playing video. But uh, I will give you a review of these Avas in like a week or two. Um, the, they should hopefully be settled by my Friday morning chamber music session. They should be relatively stable. The pies were actually starting to give out on me. Like, they weren't even holding a tuning anymore. It was really infuriating. Um, so, hopefully these will be nice and the C string won't be very high tension. So, I'll, it'll be easier for me to manage. Um, and then I will get my violin strings tomorrow because they went to my employer's house and then that box did not make it here. Um, she, but she's going to bring them by the shop in the morning. So I'm going to go get them, slap them on my violin and get, get them start uh, starting to stretch so that they can be settled by my rehearsals starting on Monday. Because on Monday starts two weeks in L.A., two different concert programs there. Um, so I also need to start... Uh, I need to spend some time this weekend looking at the music for that because uh, it's real exciting that we don't have the music for the rehearsals that start Monday, but we do have the rehearse the music for the rehearsals that start the next week. So I'll at least start looking at that stuff. Um, yeah, so 
sorry that I have been MIA um, and I haven't even really played over the last two days but I did teach at a new school yesterday on Tuesday yeah I started my my job at another local junior high school and I got to work with some really talented young students it's he calls it his chamber orchestra that's what they've decided to call themselves S six kids um, four violins a viola and a cello unfortunately his bass player did not want to do it but um, I, I'm going to work with them like every other week he wants me to and then on the off weeks I'll work with the uh, less talented like kind of more beginner students. These kids seem to all be probably in the youth symphony here and, and like really striving private lesson type kids and so he wants me to like trade off with the, um, the beginner kids sort of um, and just the ones that get access to music in school. And then he'll work with the chamber kids and then uh, on the other weeks I will work with the chamber kids and he will work with the traditional class. So really excited to be working there. Um, that's about it for my updates, I guess. Um, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow um, with something. <laughs> Uh, I'll try to play if I don't actually get a video like a solo playing video I will take some video uh, at a rehearsal that I have tomorrow night which is the folk orchestra rehearsal but principals only we're um, we're gonna make some possibly make some recordings of our music uh, maybe take some video or something to send out to wedding and event planning companies so that they can hire um, a chamber orchestra, a chamber folk orchestra. <laughs> um, so, uh, for their events or whatever. Yeah, so I'll be doing that tomorrow, which I'm also really excited about. Yeah, uh, so I will see you tomorrow, which would be day 94. Or almost at 100 days, and by golly, we have absolutely not 100 videos, and that's really upsetting. Maybe I'll do better in the next 100 days.